Hi hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Elevator Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts in Roland Science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on Strata Scratch, both using Python as well as MySQL, and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium. This question has been asked in four interviews, and this question is important if you are preparing for data engineer, data scientist, BI analyst, or data analyst interviews. Okay, let's jump right in. The question reads, find the three most profitable companies in the entire world, output the result along with the corresponding company name and sort the result based on profits in descending order. So basically we are given a data frame called Forbes Global 2010-2014 and we ha expected output is a pandas data frame with two different columns, the name of the company and the profits and it should be sorted in decreasing manner. Right. So let's preview the uh, data frame that we have been given. So there are a lot of different columns, company, sector, industry, etc. And we have a column called profits. So basically what we need to do is for this, uh, you know, data frame force global 2010 to 2014, we need to firstly sort by profits in decreasing manner and then only keep two columns, the company as well as the profits and only return the top three, right? Because that is what we have in the question, right? So what we can do is from this, you know, a data frame Forbes Global 2010, 2014, let's firstly sort values, right? So sort values and by which column we are sorting profits, right? So sort by profits and that should be in a descending manner. So we write ascending is equal to ascending is equal to false, right? Let me go ahead and run this. Let's see what we are having. So now if we look at it, right, so maximum profit, uh, right? So, and then next one, next one, right? So this is sorted in descending manner, but we are not required to keep all the columns, right? So what we need to do is let's only keep the columns that are required by the question. So we are only uh, going to keep company as well as the profit. So we are providing the list of columns that we need to keep, right? So we write company, the first column, as well as the profits, right? Let me again run this. Let's see what we are having, right? So now we have only the two columns, but still we are, uh, you know, we, we are being returned all the values, right? We are, we don't need that. We only need the top three, right? So we can use the dot head function. If you do this just by default, so it will return the top five. So if you want top three, you can just simply provide that number. So head three. And if we run this again, so now we have company and profits. So if we look at the expected output, it is exactly the same, right? Let me go ahead and submit it. So if it passes all the test cases, so yeah, this is solved. Everything is green and this is how you do it. Now let's look at how the corresponding solution looks like in MySQL. Okay. So same question. Uh, we are given a table Forbes global 2010, 2014 expected output is same as well, right? So top three rows. Uh, and if you preview the table, exactly the same stuff, right? So company, a continent, country, sales, profits, etc. Right. So what we can do is we can do the same stuff, right? So from this table called Force Global 2010, 2014, we are only required to keep two columns, right? Company and profit. So from this table, return only two columns, company and the profits, right? And then order by, right? So order by profits right order by profits uh, let me just check the column name is profits yes so profit in decreasing manner and you know so by this time if we run this so we have again company and profits of all the rows right in the table but we are only required to keep the top three so we can use the limit function so we write limit three Right now, let me go ahead and run this. Let's see what we are having. So yeah, uh, we have the company profits top three ascend uh, ordered by uh, profits in descending manner. And if we look at the expected output, uh, this is exactly the same. Okay, let me go ahead and submit it so it passes all the test cases. So yeah, everything is green, and this is how we do it again. So not a very difficult question, right? All we had to do was uh, for Python, we kept made sure that, okay, from this Forbes Global, we sorted by the profits column and then in de a descending manner, we only kept the co columns that were required by the uh, question. So company and profits and only kept the top three. For Python, we use dot head function and for SQL, we use the limit function. So this is how we do it. Let me know if there is a better way or more efficient way you can think of to solve this question. Let the solution be in the comment section below and I will see you guys in the next video.